my name's Keith Barber and today I'm going to be making a nice rug. I've got everything I need, a table with an extension, a peg loom, uh, handmade, my twine for the warp thread and probably most interestingly the salvage to make the rug. Um, a lot of my rugs are made from salvage from the Isle of Lewis, from the tweed industry up there. This salvage uh, is from a company called Abraham Moon, which is a, a 19th century mill still running and producing fabric today, which is based in Guiseley near Leeds in England. This is absolutely gorgeous salvage. Um, the material they make is, is predominantly wool. Um, it's high-end fabric. The settees in Downing Street, for instance, are all covered in Abraham Moon fabric and some of the top um, fashion houses in the world use their fabric. Now, I've got three, three different colours today. Gorgeous dark to mid grey. This fantastic uh, sort of creamy blue and then a, a lighter creamy blue with hints of dark brown and light brown. So the first thing to do now, or the next thing to do, is to sort out the pattern. I've weighed out 3.3 kilograms of wool, which is enough to make an 18 peg rug, which should be about one metre 10 long. Um, it's just working out the best way to do the pattern. I think that's gonna look best with the darker color dividing up the two light colors, but it's arranging it um, so that uh, the pattern flows and works well. So that's my next job now to actually lay out the pattern ready to start the rug. Okay, so the pattern is now sorted. I'm gonna start with a thin gray stripe, go on to the lighter creamier color, thin it up with gray, and then it's going into the sort of darker green color. These are two narrow stripes, and I've got a thicker stripe of this material, a thicker stripe of this material, and then it carries on round. This is the start of the rug, this is the end of the rug, and again, there are two thicker stripes towards the middle of the rug. So hopefully, that should give it a bit of variety in the stripe width and create a really nice flow to the rug. And now the uh, next job is to warp the loom up. Cut, you cut a piece of string, I use not seen twine. It's nice and sturdy, because towards the end of the rug, as you start to pull the, the selvage through, as you'll see, it becomes quite hard. So take, the twine, pull it so that the two ends meet and just tie a knot in it to keep them together. Doesn't stop the uh, selvage coming off but keeps them together. And that's it. That's the warping up process started. Now what I've got to do is do all 18 of the pegs. I just want to apologise for the continuity. Um, I've got my jumper back on now. Uh, it's actually snowing. Right, so we're ready to start weaving. Uh, all of the pegs have got the warp thread on. And now the weft. So it's beautiful uh, Abraham Moon fabric. So all I'm doing is making the fabric in and out of the pegs. When I come back, I go the opposite way.
that's the one completely woven. What I'm going to do now is cut it off the loom and then going to squeeze it into the middle uh, to give it a real depth and then I'm going to tie it off and it should be done within uh, an hour or so. finished. Uh, I have to say I'm really really pleased with this one. Salvage is a byproduct of the weaving industry and it's sent into landfill. I guess we're really passionate about the fact that we use something that would otherwise be wasted to make a lovely product like this.